Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title, this is a project pan update. But I want to preface this by saying I've been traveling for the last five months. So my last check-in was when I was in France and that was, I want to say two and a half months ago, maybe even three months ago. And my main focus has not been on my project pan. I was thinking to just scrap it for this year, but unfortunately I'm not like that. And I like to finish things that I started. So this isn't going to be the most exciting update, but because it's almost the end of the year and we probably have one more check-in after this, I thought I'd just show you guys what I have right now, the progress I've made. And then for the semi-finale, which will be at the end of December, I think we'll make more progress, but I do have so much new makeup and sorry about my dog barking in the background, but I do have so, so much new makeup that I've been focusing on. So this is kind of taking a back burner, which is not great. I mean, I still made progress on the items, but not everything. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into my updates. And again, I am sorry that I wasn't hyper-focused on this like I was in the previous month. For primer, we had this Essence Hello Good Stuff Glow Serum Pi my god I can't speak there's a glow serum primer in and I have still enjoyed it it was one of two primers I had with me when I traveled I think I made progress on it the line is like there I didn't have a marker with me at the time so I didn't really mark anything but I'm like over here and if I'm not mistaken I was about there before I will add in little screenshots of my previous check-in because I didn't take pictures like a dum-dum yeah and because this was a roll-in I didn't take pictures now I regret it but it, it's done I can't go back and check <laughs> that but I will show you screenshots if I can next what should we do foundation I didn't take I'm not sure. Yeah, I did. I did take pictures of this one and I was about over there. I think that was the last check-in. I think it was less, but now I used this today. I don't really like it anymore. It's got my skin looking. Let me see if I can zoom you in. It's got my skin looking like really textured and pretty. Um, and that was before I powdered it. So I think it's because I'm getting to the, to the bottom of the barrel and I don't know, the formulas changed, but I probably have one use left in this, maybe two. So we're going to keep working on it, but I'm sure this will be an empty by the end of this, by the end of this project. <laughs> then for concealer, I have this Modelite HD concealer in it, and I made a mark over there for the last time, but I'm not 100% sure where I am yet because I don't know, when I travel, my products just get a little bit weird. This has gone like really messy from I guess the pressure in the where the hold is I don't like this anymore either I did really like it and that's why I added it in my project but I've just tried some new products and this has fallen far behind I think I will definitely not complete it but I will be decluttering it once it is out of my project so keep an eye out for that I do have a declutter probably before this video and this wasn't in it well I didn't declutter it because it's in my project pan and I don't want to start anything new with two check-ins left. So this one is a no, but I am, like I said, wearing all, of, I don't know if I said that, but I am wearing all of this on my face today. I don't know if you can see, but it's really just done nothing for me, which isn't the best, obviously. Next, let's move on to this, Essence 16 hour cover and last powder foundation. The reason I added this in was because I was using it quite regularly. It was really hot in uh, Europe this summer and this helped me keep my oils at bay. It doesn't look like it now. It's just coming through, but I think it is my skin prep as well. I made some major progress on this one. The pan is much bigger than it was. Again, the shade isn't 100% for me. It was a good summer color, but now it's, it's starting to fade my tan. So it's kind of dark. I like to use it over a foundation that is slightly too light for me. So I'm still gonna keep focusing on this. If we don't finish it, which I'm hoping we will, if I don't, I will roll this into next year as well, I think, because I just wanna finish it. It also broke because Essence has the worst packaging. It still works the same. For bronzer, I this was a roll-in as well, and I added the Soleil bronzer, and I don't even know if it has a shade name. Did I say before? I'm not sure, but it's for body and 
face and my pan is so much bigger. I'm wearing it today again. I'm using this almost daily. I really, really love the tone on me. When I first bought it, I thought it was a bit strange. Like the, it looked kind of muddy, but recently this has looked so, so, so much better. I am using a smaller brush and targeting it in certain areas instead of just doing the like, contour thing but it's looking really really good on my skin and I love it so I'm going to continue to use that I probably will roll this out as well because I do have some other products that I need to give attention to I did also hit the pan on one of my other bronzers that I was like tandem tandeming this with but it's irrelevant for this video so yeah mm, for blush I had this mac blush like I said it wasn't the best color for summer I am wearing it now it's very glowy I haven't made much progress on this if any I can definitely not see it I do like it like I said it was one of my favorites and it is my favorite from mac but unfortunately the color is just not versatile enough for me I feel like it's a very very winter shade I'm still focusing on it like I said for the reason that we're we are closing in on the end of the year now and there's no point of rolling anything new in so I'll make as much use of it as I can but unfortunately it's not like a main focus color I am more like into like soft pinks and bright oranges especially during the summer so this has taken a back burner a little bit but I do still use it if it's appropriate <laughs> highlighter again I just dashed essence for having shit packaging but this is also a shit package it's the same I didn't I'm not even that rough with my makeup because I am very like aware of how much I love makeup and I take care of it this one broke when I was on vacation recently and this is the uh, Ofra Rodeo Drive I don't know if you can see but I have made a dent in there um, I don't wear highlighter that often. I used to wear it more when I first got into makeup because I just thought well, like, naturally it was a step. I am wearing some today, but generally speaking, I don't wear highlighter unless I'm filming just because it catches the light really nicely. But on a day-to-day -day basis, I don't really use it. I do have very textured, dehydrated skin. So this just enhances it. And it's not, I mean, it's not, it's not this product's fault specifically. It's just highlighters in general. And this isn't as smooth as I would like it to be but highlighter in general does enhance my texture so I try to avoid it at all costs so this one hasn't got as much attention as I would like it to then for eyes we have this MAC single shadow in corduroy they don't sell this anymore the new shade is called wedge I think the pan got bigger like I use this through the crease like especially if I'm not wearing much makeup I use this through the crease as you would a bronzer but again this progress is very slow this is a very old product so it's now become really chalky I think after this project again I'm going to declutter this because it no longer serves me in my collection and it's so old it probably shouldn't be on my eyes I honestly feel so bad about this video. <laughs> I'm trying to like, you know, just finish what I started, but I feel so bad because some of these products have I've just completely fallen out of love with. At the beginning of the year, as most of you may know, I was fun employed and I didn't want to like waste my money, my savings on buying makeup constantly. So I kind of was on a makeup no buy or just buying as little as possible. So I think I hyper focus into the products that I did have and compared to like comparing my entire collection, it was mostly just affordable stuff. I didn't have many high end things but I'm kind of dabbling more into high-end stuff at the moment, just for comparative reasons. So you will see like Sephora on here, Beauty Bay, other high-end products, and this no longer feels like a good palette. The pigmentation isn't completely there. Again, I am wearing it on my eyes today, but the pigments are just not pigmented enough, and I feel like this palette is not very versatile. I don't know, It's there's only a few looks I can do. I do use the shade as a transition, so it's the most used shade shade in here. I use this to darken up the outer corner but as you can see not much progress made in this and again I did buy some other palettes namely a Natasha Denona Mini Bieber which became my everyday palette. Hyper focused on that again because I just love the textures and that's not what this video is about <laughs> but not much progress on there. I will add like I said pictures in so you can see where we are at but I don't feel like I did use this enough in the last few months. Saying that, I also got my now fiance <laughs> to bring some makeup over from the UK that I hadn't used in a while. So I think I was focusing on that as well. I'm not sure if I wanna do a project pan again next year, but no, <laughs> but 
it's in the pro project and like I said, we're going to continue. Then lastly, we had this Urban Decay Vice lipstick in 1993. I can no longer swipe it on my lips. It like looks like that. I think I'm going to call this and we're gonna call it an empty because it I can no longer swipe it on my lips. I need to use a brush and for travel purposes, I don't always have a brush on me. So I can't just throw this in my handbag to like reapply. So we're gonna call it and call it an empty. We did use it until it was plush with the packaging. So I'm gonna call that a win since this whole project pan update was a bust. So we gotta take wins where we can. So I'm gonna call that a victory. And that is all the products I have today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it wasn't the best update. I will try and be more diligent till the end of the year. But like I said, I don't think I will do a project pan next year. I might just skip it because again, I got engaged. I have a lot going on at the moment. I'm hyper-focused on new products again. So yeah, we'll see how that goes and I'll kind of like set out my planner and see how it goes. If I do, it will be an update like every three months because I'll be away every three months. I'll be home for three working for three, home for three, working for three. Maybe I'll do updates like that. So it will be like maybe two or three updates in a year, but we're gonna have to pick products that I get along with better. And yeah, that's it from me. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it was chaotic and a little bit disappointing, but that's the nature of this, isn't it? It's like books as well. Like some things you enjoy, some things you don't, and that's okay. Saying that, I hope you guys had a great day and I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.